Well, hello everybody. This, uh, this is, could be a hat, it could be a cake, could be many different things. I'm calling it a hat because that's what, uh, what, what it is. Anyway, so the other day I, was, I made a hat and I, I couldn't get it to fit properly. I used to make them quite a bit for myself and I always made them fit really well. But I guess I'm out of practice, so I didn't make it fit very well. So I'm going to show you a trick that I did quite a while ago. Um, and it makes the hat fit really well. So I made this a, a hollow one, that way you can, uh, you can see kind of what I'm doing. And it's a lot quicker to make this way. So I picked six colors because absolutely no reason. There you go. So we're going to take a, a balloon. You can use a, a 260, you can use a, uh, a 160, whatever. I suck the air out of it, tie a knot on it, and then I'm going to tie it into one of the pink twists. And hopefully you can see it's tied to here. And then just gently, not don't pull tight, just gently over to that other side right there. Okay. There. And we're going to do another one. Do the exact same thing. I like to suck the air out of it. That way it just makes it a little easier for me to, uh, to handle. And then we're going to tie it to this pinch twist. And said very gently, don't pull it tight. Tell you, if you've wore a balloon hat for any length of time and it's too tight, you know what uh, real discomfort pain is. So we've got this right here. You can try it on. There. Okay. Now, if that's good enough, then fabulous. You stop right there, and that'll be good enough. Okay. I'm just going to continue all the way around for absolutely no reason. Then, because I will. Once again, suck the air out of it. And we're going to go to another pinch twist. And across. So we skip one and we tie it to the next. There. And we'll do it again. Take our balloon. We'll tie to this one. And like I say, well, make this as tight as you think you need to. You'll, you'll figure it out. And I only loop it around once around here. That way if it's too loose or too tight, I can release it. And we'll put that on again. Okay. That's coming quite a bit better, although it does change the shape a little bit, but that's fine. So just for right now, I'm just going to leave it like this, okay? You can figure out how to uh, go to the other sides. And if you have a really big hat, then, then this will hold it well. The thing is, this past weekend I made a hat, and even though balloons don't weigh anything really, it was too heavy. And the problem was the hat kept falling down. And that's not what I wanted, right? So, to make so it doesn't fall down, I took another balloon and we're going to make a, a small five or six petal flower, whatever you want to do. We'll go here, squeeze, this is how I make a, a five petal wrist corsage. Of course, if you want to make a six petal wrist corsage, go ahead, right? We, we want it not too big though. Wrap that around. And the other thing is you could even leave it just with four petals if you want it. That, that should be enough. This will always or should always be hidden in the hat, so it's not going to matter if these are all perfect. But we have that right there. And we will just, we're going to have to guess on this one a little bit, but push it through right there. And if you think, if you have a really high hat, then you're going to need this section longer because it's actually going to, that's going to sit on your head and prevent the hat from falling all the way down. So I'm just going to give it two, uh, two fingers because this, like I said, it doesn't matter. Off it comes. Right. Tie. And we will take this. Tie it in there. Okay. Then whatever you have on your hat, on top of your hat, won't push it down anymore because we're right there. I don't know if you can see that the flower is right on top of my head. Anyway, if you use this, fabulous, and um, I like it, and you know, makes it much more comfortable. I don't get the, the, the skull crushing of a balloon hat. Okay, there it is. Thank you very much, and make sure you, uh, if you like this, great, and if you don't, well, say something nice anyway. If you want to see something else, let me know. Bye for now.